All right, so. So I am fresh out of the shower. Um. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my nighttime hair routine and that's all the intro that you need. I'm only going to be using two products for this, so let's just get started. So, I left my detangler at home. I usually leave, I usually leave, hmm, what? I usually use a hair detangler. I will put which one it is somewhere on the screen here. But um, since I left my detangler at home, I'm going to have to actually detangle my hair with a brush or a comb that rhymed. Give me a minute. You have a comb, tea? I'm first taking the dark and lovely on natural anti shrinkage um, curl defining. This is a long name. Um, and like it says in the stupid long name, it helps with shrinkage. And that is my goal for my nighttime routine. My nighttime routine is all about prepping my hair to be out, or even if I put it up or like pull it back. Uh, I want to have it not look, you know, shrunk. So my nighttime routine is about not having shrinkage in the AM, you feel? So first I will work that into my hair. And usually I will put this and my detangler in, but I left that at home because I'm a flop. So um, I'm going to detangle my hair with a comb. And I don't always use the detangler either if I feel like it's too much like product at once sometimes. I don't know, my feelings differ by the day. I'm really weird. So sometimes I will detangle with a comb. So this isn't necessarily like all new, you know? Obviously if I was using my detangler, I would have to comb through my hair anyway, you know? Because you can't just slap it on there like I do sometimes. So, <laughs> so yeah, typically I only use two or three products um, depending on how I'm feeling for my nighttime hair routine. So it's mad easy. This is the hardest part here is detangling. I hate detangling my hair. I hate it because my hair is so thick. I don't like to be in pain. I'm very tender headed. I have been since I was like one. Like, oh Jesus Christ, I hate this part. I have this scab that's been here since fifth grade. It won't heal. Probably because I don't let it heal, whatever, it's a bad habit. Anyways, I always comb it and brush it accidentally, forgetting that it's there. And it bleeds just about every day. It's the grossest part about me as a person, honestly. So now that my hair is mostly detangled, and I say mostly because I'm mostly lazy and I don't want to detangle all of it because I am tired, I've been traveling all day, I really just want to go to sleep to keep it a hundo. Now we're going to go in with the Eco Gel. The Eco Gel is to help further define my curls. I try not to go ham with the Eco Gel because Eco Gel can like clog up your hair or like not clog up, like build up like a lot of product fast with your hair. So I try not to use too much Eco Gel. But I am someone who really enjoys the gel, so that's not easy all the time. If we're just being honest with each other, it's not easy. Since I'm here, why not Why not do my skincare routine too? This is my favorite eco gel. It's the black castor oil and black seed oil one. Oh my god, this defines and it holds and it's not too rough on curly hair. And I really, really, really like that. I'm probably the only person that applies gel like this. I just like to pat it on before I rub it in. I don't know why. Um, actually, I do know why now that I think about it. I hate the feeling of wet hair on my face and especially on the back of my neck. I like cannot stand it. When I get my hair done, I have the towel like under my hair. Like I like do this and I have it like that because I hate having wet hair. Oh, can I just get my shirt for a second? No. I hate having wet hair on my neck. So that's probably why, because I don't want to just like go straight for the back of my hair and touch the back of my neck with like my wet producty hands. So now that I think about it, that's why I do that. Now I'm just working all that product in. It sounds like a slushy in my hair and it does quite frequently. And I know that's probably not a good thing, but it's probably not a bad thing either. It's just a lot of products and I know that, you know, as long as you're aware. Alright, 
so now that my hair is um it's not as you can tell it's not stretched but that's what this next step is about um it stretched just a little bit you know we're fighting shrinkage just a teeny tiny bit but the overnight step is the step that's gonna wake you up with you know a whole different whole different look so i'm taking an old t-shirt um and you'll notice that this old t-shirt is very dirty and it has like a pink hint to it like a pink tint um and that's because of this product this product is pink obviously so that's why the shirt is pink but i'm going to show you guys what i do now like i said i put this product on my hair this product has makeup on it because sometimes i do my hair before i like take my makeup off and all that so just whatever so i take the shirt and i flip all my hair to the front and i wrap the shirt around my head um you can put your ears in but i don't because i'm funny about that if you guys can't tell i'm funny about a lot of things and you twist your t-shirt up and boom now let me tell you guys the most important part about this the most important part about this is that you use specifically a t-shirt and not a towel the towel will dry out your hair and the towel will not stretch it at all so you want to use a t-shirt and not a towel literally don't touch a towel don't wrap your hair on a towel it will not stretch it and it will dry out your hair and make all the product you just worked into your hair useless because the towel's drying now let's do skin <laughs> all right so my skincare routine at night this is like my rush this is not my full thorough skincare routine this is my i've been out all day my face is dirty because i was on a hot 10 hour bus ride and I want to go to sleep skincare routine this is a skincare routine I do if I was at work all day or if I went out with my friends and I get in late you know this is my my rush skincare routine if you will so I'm going to be taking the Stridex alcohol free um the Stridex alcohol pee alcohol pee alcohol pee what Stridex alcohol free cleansing face pads Tia is it okay if I use your face pads so this, um, I didn't wear makeup today, but usually I would take a bar soap and wash off my makeup. I use bar soap to wash my makeup off because um, it'll get off my makeup or most of it. Like it'll get off the, you know, the initial layer of taking off my makeup and it will dry out the oils from makeup so that I don't get uh, acne from the oils in makeup. Then after I would take off my makeup. I take one of these pads because this will help remove any excess makeup. And if it doesn't, don't worry, there's a step after this as well that will. But um, this is really good for preventing and treating acne. This uh, product slogan is tough on acne, easy on skin. And that's my kind of party, you know? That's kind of like what I'm into, so. I didn't wear makeup, so the pads are fairly clean today. This might be like TMI, me like literally showing you guys my used face wipes. <laughs> I feel like YouTube is literally about TMI though. YouTube is about like sharing far too much of yourself with people that you've never met. And that's my kind of party too. <laughs> All right, and next I am taking my favorite, favorite, favorite exfoliant. The, if it's my favorite, why can't I remember the name? Yeah, Apris the apricot scrub by st ives please forgive me for literally tripping up on every other word because like i am so tired i traveled from maryland to south carolina today like i went from like 70 degree weather to like literally 100 degrees and i am not used to it anybody watching this from down south where you deal with 100 degree weather every summer day i'm so sorry i'm so sorry that this is your life. And anybody that has chosen to live in the South, like you move there by choice, um, please seek professional help. Please seek, please seek the help of a actual real professional because you need it. Imagine choosing to live in North or South Carolina, knowing that it's a hundred degrees in the summer. That's like moving to Arizona. That's like moving to Las Vegas. Like cut it out, you cut it out, stop. If you cared about yourself, then why are you, why did you do that? You know, it's like, it's like crazy. That's just crazy, Oprah. Why would I do that? Do you guys even know what video I'm talking about? I literally just ramble. I literally know that nobody's gonna get that reference and I'm gonna have to insert a clip. Oprah, that's just, that's crazy. 
this doopy. You're the one over here fucking shoe. Now I'm taking my hot pink washcloth because I'm really cute. And I'm going to take this nonsense off my face so I can go to sleep. There's an airplane, like, there there are, like, multiple airplanes that have flown over the uh, house that I'm staying in. And I haven't heard this noise in such a long time. For anyone familiar with the Maryland area, I moved from Glen Burnie to PG County. And, you know, Glen Burnie is near BWI. So if you live in Glen Burnie, you're still used to the sound of airports. But not living in Glen Burnie for like two years now, I'm no longer used to the sound of airplanes flying over me. And it's startling me so bad. And I remember like people that would visit us like from like New York and Jersey when they, when they lived in Glen Burnie would be like, oh my God, like there's freaking airplanes. And we were like, yeah, <laughs> there's freaking airplanes. But now I feel like that. All right, I am done. I am ready for bed. I'm actually going to go watch the episode of Drag Race that I need to catch up on before I go to sleep. So it's actually time for RuPaul's Drag Race. I'll check in with you guys in the morning so I can show you how my hair was stretched. And yeah, I'll see you in the morning.